I don't know how I got uh, uh, hired by Oprah. I think she liked the Waltons, knew my work, and I went to Chicago with, uh, it was a collaboration. I had a partner, a production partner named Don Sipes, and Don and I worked together, and um, we went to Chicago and met with Oprah, a most gracious woman, and uh, we started planning shows, came back here and wrote them, but it, the, show, the show didn't succeed, and I have often wondered why, and I suspect it has to do with the audience's expectation of Oprah. They want to see Oprah, who she is, and we presented her as a 75-year-old uh, black lady who runs, uh, who lives in a, a, not a tenement, but a rundown area of Chicago. And I suspect that the audience wanted to see her, the Oprah that we know and love, not this uh, woman of Brewster Place. And so it never got any great ratings, but it did give me a chance to meet this fabulous woman. I was, went once, I, I, she has some kind of magical quality that people want to touch her. They want to touch her skirts. Um, and she does light up a room. I went to uh, see her when I first met her at, at, a, at a performance, not a performance, a guest appearance she was doing over at Universal. And there was an entire audience. And when she walked in, it was just the most incredible outpouring of love I've ever seen. Um, I was sorry that that did not last longer. But if I could, I, you don't tell Oprah what to do, but if I had a chance, I would have said, Oprah, be yourself in, in this character, not some old woman who has no power. I think we admire power, and we admire Oprah's power. So she was very involved in the development and Yes, but, but also I think she was spreading herself a little thin because she was doing her show, she was doing a lot of film, a lot philanthropic work, and this was in addition, and as you know, to do just one series is uh, uh, a full-time job. But, you know, I can't say that that's why it failed. It just was not as big a success as some of the other things I've done.